There are two main categories of bladder cancer. This has to do with what we call the grade of the cancer, which is basically what the cancer looks like under the microscope. This gives us a lot of information in terms of the behavior and seriousness of a given patient's tumor problem. The majority of patients, at least two-thirds of patients newly diagnosed with bladder cancer, have what we call low-grade bladder cancer. These are cancers that rarely invade into the tissue of the bladder itself but grow into the interior of the bladder, oftentimes looking like cauliflower growing within the bladder itself. These tumors are rarely, if ever, a threat to a patient's life because without the ability to invade into the tissue, it doesn't have access to the bloodstream where it can then spread and ultimately cause problems. The other group of patients, approximately a third, who are newly diagnosed with bladder cancer, have high-grade disease. These patients have a potentially life-threatening bladder cancer from the get-go and typically warrant much more aggressive treatments. The ultimate treatment, however, depends on further characterizing the tumor, and this is what we call the stage of the cancer. The stage of the cancer really means what is the extent of the disease. The staging of bladder cancer really has to do with how invasive or how deeply the cancer invades or spreads. Patients that have CIS or carcinoma in situ of the bladder have a cancer problem that involves highly malignant high-grade cells. However, they're only confined to the surface of the bladder. Patients that have TA bladder cancer are patients that have a tumor that is growing on the surface of the bladder but does not penetrate. And patients that have T1 and T2 cancer have cancers that do in fact invade into the wall but don't penetrate beyond the wall of the bladder. Patients with T3 bladder cancer and T4 bladder cancer means they have cancers that have actually penetrated beyond the bladder. The other important factor in invasive bladder cancers is the status of the regional lymph nodes and whether there's any spread to those areas. That influences treatment options as well as affects the prognosis greatly as well.